As a drummer and producer, I'm always seeking new ways to streamline my workflow. Recording drums can be challenging without a dedicated recording space. Setup time is consuming and mic checks are lengthy and that's why you don't often see me playing drums anymore. Using VSTs or one-shot samples gives me that instant dynamic sound that I'm after without having to record, mix and then master my sounds. Recording Brushed snares, however, is something that I put time and effort into because manipulating one shots rarely gives me the results that I want and using MIDI enabled percussion always feels so rigid. Until now, of course. Let's talk about borsta, Swedish for brushes. If you frequent this channel, you know I rarely ever do plugin reviews, and this video hasn't been sponsored by Clevgrand in any way. This is just a why haven't I seen this thing until now type video. In fact, this video is sponsored by DistroKid and they have something really cool that I'm gonna feature at the end of this video. So if you're looking for playlists and you're currently a producer putting your music out or wanting to put your music out, don't go anywhere. Anyway, Borsta have kind of combined brush strokes with the design of a synthesizer. And I think it makes it way more accessible to the everyday producer, but it also makes complete sense to me as a drummer as well. Take a look. On the top of Clevgrounds plugin, we've got envelopes. It's super similar to that of a synth, but instead of opening up a filter, for instance, I'm changing the way the brush strokes are being played. On the bottom here, I have events, almost like a sequencer, but I can now draw in brush strokes, ghost notes, and hits. There's a bunch of rhythmic presets here from the get-go, but I just really want to show you how excited I am about this thing. So let's just start with an empty preset. I'm kind of envisioning one long pattern here, and then we'll have a break, and then we'll have another pattern starting from here. Something like that, maybe. And then another break, and then maybe four hits towards the end. I'm gonna change the grid size to 16, make it a little bit easier. And then we'll have like four varying hits. Depending on how high or low you draw these will dictate how loud or quiet your brush strokes are. So now I have one shots one and two, and we're able to create open and closed notes. We can quantize these as well, so don't worry if you're a little bit out of time. I wanna change the drum sound, so I'm gonna go for the pizza box. I almost exclusively use the pizza box, because if you've ever played a snare drum, you always get these overtones. The cajon feels a little bit too scratchy, but the pizza box always feels just right. That already sounds really lovely. I'm gonna throw that into my project and then come over to Global where I can actually mix this instrument. And pitch this down if I want. And I can control the room sound and the reverb as well. And I like a nice dry sound. Sounds so lovely. It's just a little bit loud in the mix. It's like the perfect back end to just kind of paint the canvas at the beginning of this project between the different types of rhythm that they've drawn for you inside events as well. So here's my one and we can hit D. Just change that slightly. if we want and then we can add those into our piano roll again i know this probably seems like an ad but this is my genuine excitement and i hope that this is coming through to you guys this is genuinely something that i've adopted into my workflow for my upcoming releases and it might spark some excitement for you guys too which is why i'm sharing it as i mentioned this video isn't sponsored this is the third time i've said that now so i don't have an affiliate link for you but if you want to find out more then just dive down into the description and it will take you over to clevgrand's website they also have 
Skarka, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which I featured on the channel before. It's for like a variation of different types of percussion. And that's super fun, especially for lo-fi music. Oh, before you go, I mentioned that I've got new music coming out and I got that out into the world with the help of today's sponsor, DistroKid. But I've noticed on their site, the addition of Playlister. Our Discord are always looking for new playlists and I'm sure you're the same as well. If you haven't joined the Discord, there's a link in the description below. With DistroKid's Playlister tool, you get access to hundreds of playlists formed by real people. Clicking on the playlist shows the contact details and it gives you a link to preview the playlist. It really Really couldn't be easier. Check out the link in the description if you want 7% off your first year. So there we have it guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed Borster as much as I did. I think they have a free trial or a demo that you can download over at their website. And I'm sure if you're as obsessed with sound design or drums or realism as I am, then you're really going to enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if there's a different plugin that I should have known by now and what you want to see in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.